and purple's the biggest threat. So, sorry purple, no offense, but this is... Well, welcome to Risk Live. I'm a grandmaster at this game. We're just trying to have some fun. This is a viewer game. We're playing Europe Advance, World Domination, no fog. We do have blizzards. Bots are automated. This is 60 seconds. Some of them, some of my viewers are on mobile. We accidentally went 60 seconds. So some may be at a disadvantage here. Let's see what we've got. We've got an impactful blizzard here, which makes it a uh, two-point hold here on West Africa. Splittily, one-point hold on... Iceland. Yellow with a nice easy take in the middle. We got a split Orient bonus. Russia just has one blizzard in there, making it a little bit easier to take. Most of our material is in Russia. We're in the fifth position. Um, we're not playing with fog because the viewers could be watching this game. The ones that playing this game might be watching this game. We don't have allies. We don't have alliances on. Purple grabs a bonus. Turn one as well. White has a good chance to take Scandinavia. Black likely going for Iceland. Maybe it's a, it's an hundred percent take for Iceland. So we're going to go for Russia. It'll take a few turns. It'll take a few turns, but that's basically our only opportunity. Actually, that's not true. We're going to take North Africa. We're going to take North Africa. And then we'll go for Russia. I didn't even see the spawn before. It kind of stinks when you have to change and you're like, ah, I wanted that other spawn. <laughs> yeah, we go for North Africa and then we'll see if we can, uh, well, we might be able to take Orient. Um, we'll see if Yellow wants to play nice. Otherwise, we'll just go for Russia. We won't even get this on turn one. But I think... I think we'll start moving for Russia, too, while we're at it. If we can get some dice. All right, pink goes for the middle bonus as well. Mm, orange gonna wipe us out. Orange wants Orient. Or, I mean, yellow wants Orient. Okay, so we go for Russia. We'll go for Russia on the next turn. Purple takes Spain. Black's going to have the rest of the UK on this next turn. Purple lined up to have Spain on the next turn. So natural expansion. White could end up in a conflict with black. Slow down their progression. White could come up and take Germany. does have troops in Germany, but black is also kind of in his way. Oh. 
So the challenge with this one is there's no alliances. So it'll be it'll be up to people to communicate via emotes. White with that eight is uh, looking kind of threatening towards black. Probably the reason black's hesitant to take that bonus. So we, we get our bonus, but it took us two turns to get there, which is strange considering we went fifth. And we didn't have a whole lot to get through, but we didn't. That's not a got good rolls. I wasn't paying much attention. Pink gets splittily in turn two. First person to grab their second bonus. Purple will be the second person to get their second bonus. Yellow, kind of spreading out a bit. Trying to hold some positions, multiple positions on the board, keep them alive. Spain signals to yellow that they could have hit them but they didn't and yellow gives a well played white takes card and passes Black is likely going to try to get to Eastern Europe, be my guess. Or else he's just slowing white down from taking Germany. Okay, that's interesting. Threat stack to be sure. Pull off white's border so they know that I'm not planning to break their only bonus. Pink held both bonuses, getting strong. Tries to get some use out of the two. Two V1s. Two V1s are always effective against my territories. So not that was a nice take. <laughs> They're always effective against my territories. Or at least that's how it seems. Gives purple a good luck. Purple does not want yellow to have that bonus. Stakes a claim on it.
white ramps up the pressure on black to get that nine out of Germany. <laughs> See, now, if I was black, I'd have pulled that three back. Because if white wants to break you, he's going to break you, and he'll you'll lose three troops. But I guess maybe you don't want to make it super cheap on them as well. So Pink not giving himself much protection in Splittily. Points to black, but we don't know why. Pink points to black, but we don't know why. Purple setting up some good defense. Marches onward for the West Africa bonus. That could ultimately end up being a problem for pink. For splittily. Okay, white playing nicely with black still. Could have broke, but didn't. Indicates. They probably aren't going to. They just want to make sure that their bonus, they have a decent defense on this bonus.
Okay, so three of us have two bonuses. Yellow is on the verge of taking their second bonus here in the Orient. And we all have card trades in Europe. Black's going to be in trouble if he loses his exterior positions because he's going to have to break white or purple. And that could be a challenge, and it could make some enemies. That's going to be a tough position to be in ultimately. Generally, if you find yourself in that position... The bonus isn't the most important thing your outside stack is. And so basically what they've been doing, everything goes to the outside stack and it's a threat stack. So if somebody, if one of these guys breaks your bonuses, you have a stack that you can retaliate. Purple's gonna finish off West Africa. There's a lot of troops that purple is going to be getting. That's a lot of troops. And he stacks on pink. I think that was the wrong move to stack on pink. Yes, pink's your neighbor. Pink is your neighbor. You need a good relationship with pink. Stacking on pink. Could be problematic if pink wants to make sure that you're not going to knock him out of this position. And you're, you shouldn't knock him out of there because he's your neighbor. That's tough. Realistically, if you're going to take that bonus, you should have stacked against me. Because you're on the op I'm on the opposite side of the board as you. My best play. My best play is going to be breaking purple. Because I'm on the opposite side of the board. I mean yellow can play good neighbors. Have a trade. Purple's the biggest threat. So, sorry, Purple. No offense, but this is the play that we got to do. So pink doesn't have to attack purple, but my thinking was that maybe he will take advantage of this since purple stacked up against him. Maybe he doesn't, I don't know. But I probably should have hit the 14 stack on my way through there. The game has to progress somehow. So somebody has somebody has to get hit. <laughs> you can't play good neighbors all the time. So when somebody sees when when the rest of the players see somebody getting attacked, you got two choices. You can help 
or you can sit back and watch. What you decide to do is going to be dependent on your board position. Are you strong? Can you survive? If you help in the attack, can they retaliate against you? Right? Those are the things that we got to think about. That was, purple went a little too far on that one. So had purple just taken back this, he could have pulled back to protect the two bonuses he had and wait for his card trade. He just got opened up again. And now he's got to worry about pink coming in. Does he defend against pink? Is pink going to come in from behind? What does he do? But it's likely, <laughs> it's likely that he's not going to keep any of those bonuses. Had had he, had he only just retaken his bonus here, I'm not open to it. I could have broke again potentially, but I'm not open to it. He could have come back, connected his big stack, and pulled his big stack back for protection. So there's some challenges there. Oftentimes, well. I wouldn't say there's a right or a wrong way to do it necessarily. The challenge is is like if you if you take everything back, you're risking losing all those troops again. If you don't take everything back, you can have a bigger defense stack. So purple's on four cards. Pink could kill purple. Get the trade in. That's that's essentially the play. We just fed purple to pink. Sorry, purple. That just ended up being how the game had to progress. <laughs> GG's. GG's. Well played. Okay, purple, or pink has decided that I'm his enemy now. I was so nice feeding him that kill. <laughs> and he, he didn't like it. So, not a big deal. I don't have very many troops over there. But pink looks like a big threat to the rest of the field. Pink has the most troops. Like the other, the rest of the field should be hitting pink at this point. There's no reason to leave him with all those bonuses. And his big stack is trapped at the bottom. Wow, yellow goes after black. He wants the four cards. Yellow is taking black's four cards. Well played. Well played. All right, what does white do? 
White breaks Italy. Takes pink down a size. Pink's on five cards. And I don't have a trade. <laughs> I don't have a trade. So pink's going to get to trade in those five cards. I can't stop it. I can't stop it. Um. Hmm. All right. We'll let pink retaliate. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's going to go through me to do it. Okay. That's an interesting choice. Okay, he's going he's going for the kill. He wants my five cards. He's got to get a good roll. If he doesn't, he feeds me. Mm, that's not enough. That is not enough. That was a bad move. Now now pink's going to die. Now pink dies. You ruined both our games, pink. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Might have been worth the the try, but really you would have had a lot of a lot of troops. What pink should have done in my opinion is we're going to we're going to we're going to view this. I'll tell you what I think pink should have done. Pink could have left his stack here. Traded in Take, broke white here and parked on Gascony. White is not open to him to hit with a big stack. He would have had two bonuses locked back in with stacks to protect. That would have been... Somehow he got the kill on me? How did you How did you manage that kill? What the hell? Because he won a 2v1. I told you every freaking time. People win a 2v1. Well, we'll see what he does with the trade. He's still vulnerable because white's got a ton of troops. And yellow has a ton of troops, but most of them are locked up. But yellow has a trade. So pink getting that trade saved his butt most likely. He could still die for five cards. He is a delectable treat for five cards. What are trades? I can't even see what trades are. 47. So yellow doesn't get enough of a trade to kill pink. But yellow could feed pink if they want to get second place. Could feed pink to white. Otherwise, yellow just hits white a little bit and then stacks somewhere so that they can try and clean up if white goes for the kill. White doesn't have the ability to kill pink. White doesn't have the ability to kill pink because they don't trade in. Yellow activated their, their troops. I like yellow's position right now. Yellow's on three cards. Pink's going to trade in. But pink won't have enough to kill anybody. How do you know yellow has a wild? Oh, did I have a wild? Is that how you know? I don't know. No, because pink killed me. How do you know yellow had a wild? I don't know how. I don't know how you know that. Oh, you had a wild and you died. I don't know who's who. I don't know who's who in this game. I try not to pay attention to the uh, chat. Wow, white had enough to kill pink. I didn't expect that. He must have got some good dice. Well played. Well played indeed. So white doesn't have enough to kill yellow. But he can break both bonuses. He can break all the bonuses. White needs to break UK and Iceland as well. And if yellow has a trade... Yellow could be in a good position here. White's going to come back. I think white wins this. I think white wins this. Even if yellow has a trade, 
White's got a trade to come back. Yellow has a clutch trade on three, but I don't think it's going to be enough because White's going to be able to come right back. Hey, good job. Good job getting third, KR. You're lucky you got that kill on me. I mean, I was going to get... I was going to die anyways, right? Once you went for me, I was going to die anyways. Most likely before you. But you got lucky on that. You got lucky on that kill with me. I thought for sure you failed it. A 2v1 is clutch. So, yellow... Making a run to break. He didn't need to break that way. Oh, that was a bad pathing mistake. Oh, no, he has troops up there. Okay. He needs to break in the middle still. Grab some bonuses. Make himself hard to kill. All right. So how fast is white? You had good dice against me. What better dice did you need? <laughs> oh, white trapped himself. Bad pathing by white. Yellow has the chance to win this. Yellow with the chance to win. I don't think... I don't think white's going to break everything of yellow. He might. He's got some time. But yellow's stack is trapped as well. So yellow's trapped is 13. White sent too much troops up into Scandinavia. Looks like white's got the time to break everything. Well, maybe not North Africa. It's going to be close. Activates his 11. Okay, white does have this. White does have this. I don't think yellow... I don't think yellow's got enough troops. Oh, he should have added to his 6 down south. Because he could have broke everything up there with that six down south. It's not going to be able to break everything. So white gets to hold two bonuses. And if white has a trade, it's over. Even if he doesn't. White has tr stacks. Oh, White has a trade. And that should be GG. That should be GG. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> as long as he doesn't make a pathing mistake. But it'll only delay it. Because... Yellow can't have a trade on this next turn. Ooh, that was relying on a 5v3, and he got it. We must have went 90 seconds timer on this, didn't we? No, it's 60 seconds. Boy, this timer seems like it's going so slow. So, can't make the kill. But yellow doesn't have a stack open to do much of anything. Yellow can break Russia. Probably Eastern Europe. Oh, uh, he puts in to break the small bonuses. <laughs> that was the wrong side to break. That was the wrong side. I mean, it didn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's over on this next turn anyways. But realistically, you break, break the bigger bonuses over here. That is a GG. I think I'm going to switch accounts. I'm going to switch accounts. I want to play... I want to go back... I want to play some ranked games. I still want to play some ranked games. But I want to play with my other account. I got to keep... Actually, I kind of want to play ranked games on my main account. I'm still undecided if I want to shoot, try and see how high I can get on the rankings. But I got to keep playing my ranked games. So good, good job, good game.